the focus of my seminar was on the implications of the AUKUS security relationship between uh, Australia, the UK and the United States. So three key um, security implications or uh, security issues for the EU going forward. And these were the crisis of influence, the um, leadership question, and also the last crucial one, Russia, and how they can move forward whilst also developing a cooperative relationship with Russia. So um, I think it's a really interesting topic and it has a lot of implications for geopolitics, but it's something that we need to, we need to look at and we need to have future research on. So uh, my doctoral research was on the US and UK decision to invade Iraq in 2003, and both how and why decision makers made this decision. So uh, obviously this has huge implications for the transatlantic relationship. Um, and moving forward, my research has also looked at um, US uh, foreign policy leadership and looking at uh, Donald Trump and how he has made his foreign policy decisions. Um, and so this has given me a um, a strong interest in US and UK foreign policy decision making and US and UK foreign policy um, in various different arenas. So if we're looking at AUKUS, we're looking at how the US and the UK and crucially the added element of Australia um, are seeking to confront China in the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, and this has huge implications um, also for how the EU and Europe wants to position itself in terms of the Indo-Pacific area, how Europe can move forward in their relations with the US, the UK, and with China. Well, I think this is a crucial time for NATO, both in terms of how it sees itself and how it relates to various member nations. Uh, if we look at the US, we've had Trump recently uh, describe NATO as obsolete. We've had uh, Macron, tell us that uh, NATO is brain dead. And this is a moment when NATO needs to not only convince the world of its utility and why we need NATO, but also it, it is a crucial time of reinvigoration. There are other security relationships that are uh, in, in place in Asia, but also uh, AUKUS is a new um, security relationship that needs to be understood and needs to have its relationship with NATO established and sorted out really uh, we we need to have nato reinvigorate itself and both um reinvigorate its mission but also um demonstrate its utility to the us a lot of us um bad feeling towards um european member nations is directed at this uh, spending commitment this two percent of gdp to be spent on uh, military um equipment and military capabilities and this is not being met by the majority of European nations this is a crucial area for NATO moving forward how do they move forward and how do they convince member nations to invest further in their military capabilities